Enzo. Hi Enzo, uh, welcome. Uh, I wanted to ask you, sorry to ask you the first question, but uh, let's just get it out of the way. I wanted to ask about the Enzo Fernandez situation. How are you handling it and, and how is the club also handling it? Uh, first of all, good afternoon all of you. Uh, I, f I think it's quite uh, easy in terms of the player did a, st a statement, uh, apologize, and the, the club did the same. So. I don't think there is something to, to add in terms of the situation. It's already clear and clarified. In the front here. Um, how are you? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the Bay Area. This is Paula Maruri, in San Francisco. Uh, besides participating in this international uh, friendly, um, let's talk about the importance of connecting with fans and the experience for players. Also, uh, I know you're new with the club, and I would like to know about your coaching philosophy and the process of building the culture in chemistry with the team. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, yeah it's always important uh, to have connection with the fans, the fans that they are here uh, in USA, the fans that they are in England, the fans anyway, uh, the, everywhere. It's important to have good connection with them. Uh, and then, yeah, the philosophy, it's, uh, it's quite clear. Uh, we try to uh, dominate the game. Uh, we try to keep the ball as much as we can. Uh, sometimes the opposite also is there, and it's difficult. It's not easy, but uh, yeah. Overall, this is uh, this is a little bit the idea. Try to be aggressive on the ball and off the ball. Jack. I don't think I don't think so. To be honest, uh, at the end they are uh, all human being. I don't think there is any bad intention from any one of them. So I don't think when Enzo will be back that we have any kind of problem. As I said, uh, the player already clarified the situation. The club did the same. So uh, there is no n there is nothing to to add. And once again, I think. They are, they are not a uh, bad person or bad human being. So it can happen, it's, uh, but they, I don't think there is any, any problem at all. Have you had a chance to speak with I spoke, uh, I spoke with them, so I spoke with all of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, as I said, uh, the player already did statement, apologize, so it's quite, uh, it's quite clear. Simon? Just one quick one, and then I'll ask another one. Um, when when is he due to join you? Can you clarify if he'll be next week or when Enzo will arrive? Yeah, it's the twenty nine, I think. Right. Yeah. And, and my actual question is: um, I think Rich James is, is coming in after you. Is he going to be your captain? For sure, James will be one of the captain. Is uh, he, he has already been in the past, and I want him. Again, uh, one of the captain, one of the leader of uh, this 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 team. Uh, to be honest, I like uh, players that they take responsibility. I like players that uh, all of them they try to be leader or captain. Even if we need four, five, six players to represent the club, but uh, I think for all of them it's important to to feel this kind of responsibility uh, to behave like a captain or like a, a leader. Bobby. Hi, Enzo. Um, Chelsea had a lot of injury problems last season. Uh, is there anything different that you're going to try to make sure there's not a repeat this time? Uh, I always said the same. It's already difficult to judge a situation when, when you are inside. Imagine when you are not here. So I don't know uh, what kind of problem they had last year or two years ago. The only thing I can say that uh, fortunately we start two weeks ago. We didn't have any any problem, any injury, and we're gonna try to uh, also manage uh, that kind of situation that in the past has been a problem. But as I said, I don't know the reason why uh, they had many injury in the past, and we are focused now and trying to uh, create also personal uh, work prevention, these kind of things to avoid. Uh, injury. Ben. Enzo, two quick ones for me. Trevor Chalaber is not with 
the squad. What was the reasoning behind that? And is it fair to assume that he is for sale this summer? No, it's yeah. First of all, it's always uh, from my point of view, it's always uh, sad to leave players uh, out that can be out of the preseason or can be out of the squad or can be out of the first eleven, because at the end they work every day, all for the same target that is to be part of the the team. The Trev situation for me is quite clear. We have Axel there, we have Tosin there, we have West that. Uh, these two, these two weeks works very good, and this finally is is back. We have some uh, very young profile like uh, Josh Achipong that is doing fantastic. So this is, uh, as I said, it's sad uh, decision, but also uh, a mere to take decision. And just a quick one as well, tactically speaking, at Leicester you inverted the right back predominantly, Ricardo. At Leicester, you've got Mark uh, Chelsea, I should say. You've got Mark Kukurea, who was excellent inverted. You brought in Renato Vega, who can invert as well. Is it logical to assume that you'll invert the left side at Chelsea? Uh, no, no. In these weeks, we try different situation. We try James inside Rhys. That uh, I watched his game. That when he was, uh, I think, uh, uh, I don't remember now. When he was on loan from Chelsea to another club, I don't remember now, he was playing as a midfielder, I watched some games during the summer, so he can do that, to be honest, Malo is trying to do that and is doing fantastic, Mark, as you said, he can do that, and we also try different situations, different players that they can do that. Kieran. Hi Enzo, how are you? <coughs> um, Chelsea are obviously a club that won success, and that's winning the Premier League, competing in the Champions League. Is and you've signed a long contract, five years. Do you, do you think that you're going to be at least given the time, a good chance? The only thing I can say is that uh, I'm here for the same idea, the same target in terms of when you join a club like uh, Chelsea, one of the big best club in the world, uh, you have to to try to win trophy or at least to compete. So our target for sure uh, will be to, to try to, to compete and to achieve something important now. When? I don't know. Hopefully as soon as possible. One more over here. Um, Abraham from ABC7. I just have a question for my coworker who's not here. But um, welcome to Santa Clara. And uh, did you get to visit around the area? And my second question is, what does it mean for you and your team to be playing here in the American Football Stadium and enjoying the culture of America? Yeah, no, many thanks. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to, to visit uh, the city. We arrived last night very late. We had session this afternoon. Uh, and as I said, it's always nice, first of all, because we can share time with our fans abroad, not only in England, so it's nice. And yeah, as a player or as a manager, I've already been here many times and it's always, it's always a pleasure. And down at the front. Yeah. World Cup is coming up. We just have Copa America one more time. Paula Maruri, Tentenaye, World Cup is coming out. We just have Copa America. How do, you, how, do you feel, how do you feel to be part of this soccer culture? And what do you think about the growth of MLS? And Messi is here with us now. Thank you so much. Good oh, luck yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, the MLS is, is, is improving a lot, is growing a lot. Uh, probably thanks also to this kind of players like Messi that now they are here. And we try to do our best when we come here in terms of uh, playing games and as you said hopefully we can we can help uh, the, the you know the, the USA football to to improve and to grow One more here. welcome to sunny California Enzo um, my question is and Cuckoo is a very versatile player he can play on the left wing he can play as a false nine and even as a creator what role do you see for him because Jackson scored 15 goals last season, which is really good. But I'm trying to figure out, like, do you see him play centrally as a false nine or as a creator? He can play everywhere. He can play everywhere. He's one of the players that in these two weeks uh, is doing very, very well. Uh, he's already taking the, 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 the way we want to play. So that is, that is important. And as I said, these kind of players for me, uh, they can play winger, they can play attacking midfielder, they can play nine. They can play in different positions. And what we are going to try 
is to try to have players that they can play in different positions. Uh, is the way I see the football and also is the way that I like to work every day to try to improve players and to help them to play not only in one position that uh, they can play in different positions also because sometimes many players they say I can play as a winger and for them it's just there but I don't think if you move them 5-10 meters inside that uh, there are big changes so it's just a matter of to to convince them and to adapt, but when they are good players, they can play in different positions. Okay, thank you very much.